My Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakir Galadirathan, head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to DCI Last Alliance, as we continue our fight in the Second Age as Rovanian. Our armies are besieging Gromen, but they are okay. going to be hard-pressed to win that battle. I have Marwini the War Chief, Denwego of the Avari, and Grand Prince Fravita, with a very small army in comparison to what we're up against, really. But then the actual numbers aren't too bad. We're only sort of outnumbered two to one. We've got reinforcements moving in with Captain Skuld and Captain Withergast from Zaunik. In the south we are besieging Mistrand and we are going to take and topple the forces of Rune with their capital city down. Now I apologise this video has come later than I had planned, obviously I wasn't able to record at the start of this week. And so the videos have all been taking a knock-on effect because of that. And also many of you will now of course have seen the tragic disappointment that we have lost the Dole Amroth campaign. Um, um, and hopefully if everything went according to plan, yesterday I uploaded a little video saying what... Um, do you want to happen next? A poll video in light of the loss of Dole Amroth. Um, which is very disappointing. I was thoroughly enjoying that campaign, but my attempts to get the campaign to work just led to more crashes. <laughs> right, Marwini the War Chief, Captain Sidium. I don't actually think we probably can win that battle. We do have excellent cavalry, but I think for the sake of just waiting to reinforce our army by quite a sizable amount, if we just pull back for now, we'll get there in a moment. Um, we ambush an army of ruin. Oh, cool. We haven't fought an ambush. Oh, it's not a very big army. Oh, no, it was a failure. That's all right. We've got a general on a horse, so it should be a nice, straightforward victory. So in we go. Um, mounted generals still reign supreme. And they have got some cavalry in this little ragtag army. I mean, we've beaten this army before, and this is the just the remnants of that army making their way. Um, back home, I should have thought. Um, but we can put them down. Right. Uh, we technically are attacking them, aren't we? Because it's an ambush. And they're all the way down here. But their army is, has been depleted and is weak. So we can just slowly walk towards them and everything should be alright. Uh, so in we go. Now we've time six it up. Now we've got two units of Wada Spearmen, who are just our standard spears, but they're considerably better than Rune's standard spears, which is what we face. Um, so it should be all right. And also, this is only a small army that was moving in to reinforce, uh, to reclaim a town on the fringes of the of our realm and Rune's realm. So it doesn't matter too much if we don't win. I I'm fairly confident that we've got Rune in the bag, to be honest, and that they are pinned down. Um, but, of course, time will tell. There might be some hidden events that help them. I still have no idea if there actually are hidden events and if I should be on the lookout for anything. Uh, but I think there might be. Right, we've caught their cavalry quite nicely. There were 22 of them, but then as our unit just cuts its way through very nicely, there are now only nine of them. We did lose a few Rykista knights, though. Oh, cool banner. I do like that. Um, but down they go. The Five riders remain. In our favor. Victory will be ours. I don't know why the auto resolve was so half and half. Because if we just take a look at it, runic fences seven attack, total offense of thirteen. Wilder spearmen three attack, total offense of ten. We're not that far behind them. Um, and over here, there's just runic spearmen, which is five five thirteen versus again our three five ten. So they're slightly better, but we outnumber them significantly so. The enemy general lies dead. So I don't know why it was so um, skewed toward them. Is that all of them there dead? Yes, it is. Right. Let's move over here. Let's speed this up and get this over with. In we go. That should see them break and run. Yep. The enemy and then bloody. same thing over here. They have lost half their men. Is that them running? Yes, it is. But the, the fences came back for more. Sure, the there we are. This is 55. Golden Sword, almost certainly. Reikis the Knights, of course. Was it going to be anyone else? Of course not. And a nice success. Kill them all. Ah, bugger. They've chased us down. We've already run away once, haven't we? Mmm. Damn. <laughs> Uh, which means we can't withdraw. Right, we will hold them here then. <laughs> now, I think we will win, but we'll probably just take a lot of losses. There'll be no escaping we us need now. to win, because we can't run away now. <laughs> so we're locked in. <laughs> it's victory or nothing. 
Although they can run away if they break. Um, I can't the tell them to run away, to but if they, um, if their morale goes, they will. But of course, we're being attacked, so at least we can pull back. Oh, that's a bigger hill. Let's go over there. Stand on top of this. And we've got a few arch units. I don't think they have very many arch units, if at all, to be honest. If any at all. So you're going to go like that, and then we'll just line the rest of you up. The cavalry's going to do all the heavy lifting today. Um, and the javelins can go behind. All of you guys, don't be indefensive so that you can press down the hill. Oh, and the Huenti, of course. Um, what do you look like? Yeah, you look pretty cool. Where's your general? Or does he just look like you? I assume he must look like them. Maybe it's that fellow on the air then, in the end there. And they don't have an officer. Hmm, must be. Interesting. Right, so we've got the Madraut archers, who we'll use as archers in the first instance. And then there's our two cavalry units ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, it doesn't have the range. We bring silent death. We bring silent death. Right, Mounted Longbowmen, let's use your abilities. So, do we think they actually have any archers? Not entirely sure. Javelins. Archers, there we are, yes. There's those Eastern Tribes. They've got some Riders. Ah, they've got some of the Hyrun Axemen. But we have Mounted Longbowmen. Come and stand upon the hill. The thunder of their hooves shakes the earth. Although oh, no, there's only one battalion. They're not they're hardly shaking the earth. Anymore. Ah, so this is an, another key ex moment where I can explain um, why Divide and Conquer did a thing. The AI, even when it's totally un inappropriate, they default to fire arrows. And fire arrows have a significant decrease in accuracy. So that was two volleys of arrow fire from two sets of units and they killed one man. Um, fire arrows are just a huge nerf to the AI, and the AI can't turn them off. So if they start with them on, that's it, they're on forever and a day. Uh, and it just nerfs them unnecessarily. But what we are going to do is move you guys further forward a bit. And you further forward a bit. And the archers are going to also move further. And I think I'm going to put the elves here. Now, your first call for the two generals bodyguard is going to be to shut down the enemy's cavalry, and then once they've attained, once they have achieved that, we will then use them as charging cavalry, as you would. Can't help but notice that my archers have not done what I've told them to, as normal. But it's too late now, so you, you are where you are. Right, cavalry, let's get you over here, because the enemy's coming to flank you. I noticed that ballister crew firing away. You shoot at those. If you can, bring down their archers. That's the main use I think we're going to have for you today. Right, who's moving on us? It's those axemen. Get a solid charge on them. We've got him with the Rykista. They were 176. Oh, and they don't like that, do they? They don't like that. There were 176, and there are now a routing 26. 150 of them just died in a single charge. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely glorious to watch. And Rune's chief um, threat, really, the greatest unit they have on the field today, has just melted away to nothing in a single charge. Our archers have been caught in melee. Rune experiment. Let's send the Rykista back. So you guys carry on. Rykista, come with me. We're going to get you back to defend the line. And they're just going to shut down that Ballister crew first. In they go. Well, that was an awful charge in comparison to what the Rykista have just done. Right, hit that unit in the rear. And that should... Uh, get them routing. What happened to those fences? Did they run away as soon as we hit them? It looks like they did. 
The enemy is absolutely melting away. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. My fear in taking their city was not well founded. This is proven to be simple. <laughs> we are once again blessed by our significant cavalry power. Take those out. Right, you guys keep firing at whatever you can, but whilst you're there, just make sure they run away. Let's charge in on those archers. It's time to... The archers are the only thing left. All of the ground forces have basically run away. Ah, oh, but again, we've got a poor hit on those... Um, Fravita is doing terribly. Let's come and get Fravita the involved with the... Bloodied. They have lost half their men. The arrow killing. Oh, I think we can speed this up. I think that's... Full the routing across the board there, isn't it? 69% at the moment. Down. Capture what we can. Yep, yeah, you're on those. You're on those. For Vita, you've stopped. Go over and get those. Ground forces, stop running. Now have we got now? 89%. Once it gets to 92. Hmm, 91 will do. 173, 1714, that's insane. 225, Madral Archers, oh that's interesting. And very interestingly, the Rykeista Knights, the 155 kills they got were almost their one proper dedicated charge, and then, then everything else they did was um, just capture routing units, because their morale damage was stronger than their real damage. Huzzah! A nice little gif. And now Roman will fall easily because the army has just been wiped Finish out. Them. So you guys go in. And if you guys could group up actually, because you're going to have to walk through enemy territory. It's never good to do that in piecemeal. Always better to form a unified army. We've got crop rotation in Dorwinian. We can now go for a Kafald Mead Hall. Yeah, which is a culture increase. Do we need a culture increase? No, not really. Um... Leather Tanner, maybe? I'm not sure we need to build anything, actually, at the moment, to be honest. Uh, you could get sheep pastures if I queued it up, but that's a ways away. Orders. Yes. What's in Fritigern? Hyrun, Eastern Tribes, Runic Prepare Fences. Do we have any archers? Wars. No, we don't. So we'll let them attack us. Rune don't like me. That's not surprising. Captain Nablu has come back for Kamboshka, even while his capital is under siege. What madness is this? <laughs> Um, now, I think we've got a strong enough army here to take whatever they're going to attack with, which is Captain Susikum. So we'll let the captain arrive, merge with Kubu, and then we'll take that army in one go whilst we besiege Roman, awaiting for Captain Withergast to come through. Once he does, we'll move on Roman and capture that as well. And our spies keeping an eye on Aini. Um, but otherwise, that's doing all right. Still no enemies coming in from the west. Anywhere that we want to build something a bit more money-making. You're about to finish with crops. No, I can't really see. Oh, you're building. That's good. Don't want anything in Kamboshka. Altegard, then. You're our main source of funds. So if you could try and get crop rotation, we'll save our money for that. It's better than a leather tanner. Uh, and I think that'll do. End the turn. Here we go. Um, I'm something. I'm. I'm. I really am hoping something is going to happen that will boost Rune a bit because we're 27 turns in and and thus far I haven't really met any significant opposition at all. Um, and I I'm Executing would hope that there's going to be a, something that will happen that will uh, jazz it up a bit. Um, because it's been a bit of a cakewalk, if I'm honest. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Right, so as we had hoped, the enemy is going to attack us. And we have just the thing to deal with an attacking enemy. Rykista Knights! General's bodyguard! So Tribesmen, Runic Fencers and High Rune Axemen. Both of those have no bonuses against cavalry, and the Tribesmen do. So, a head-on charge into those runic fences should really make our day. Here they come. The banner of Ravanian waving high. 
Battle is joined and battle is devastating. Right, so that was a strong and solid hit against the fences. We did lose a couple of men, but nothing to fear. Guys over here, let's get a charge bonus. So manoeuvre the troops accordingly. To benefit from that. Right, you go and finish off those fences. Now we don't want you to be flanked, so turn and hit the Hyrule Axeman. You should hopefully kill those fences off now in this charge. There were 59. There are now 20 ish. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. They're going down. Right, I need you to kill those off so that then you can charge the Axeman. Oh, you can just go and do it now. Let's speed this up. This is over. Just get far enough away. And then back of the Axeman. Wow, those Axemen just melt away, don't they? Victory will be ours. And then back of the spears. Broken to the death. They're still fighting. And in we go. Our men have slain. Behold how our the enemy. 111, unfortunately, though. 273. Great victory. <laughs> 111, though, is still an, an a surprising amount. We can't forget that whilst our cavalry is god tier. Our infantry is very Our average. Courage and honor have conquered. Oh, we're not going to fight that. We'll just... Yeah, that's just a straight death. Oh, that's a cavalry unit I've not seen before. Valkoth Lancers. They seem a little better. But no, we're not going to fight that. We'll just let them have Kamboshka. Because... Oh, they didn't even attack us at Mistrand. They've pulled the army away. So we'll attack Mistrand and we'll take their capital city then. If they are so blasé in its defence... Ah, no, so there we are. They did finally come. Perfect. So the battle for Mistrand will occur now, and we will be able to take them out. One hopes, anyway. Kubu has got a lot of units, a couple of Kandish infantry. He's got a unit of these Balkoth lancers I've not seen before. Not to my knowledge, anyway. I mean, I may have done, but I don't remember them. We've got some Eastern archers in amongst that mix, but remember, we've got Atelf of Dorwinian, who's a very good foot general, and we've got King Fritigan, who is an absolute monster of a cavalry general. Their bodyguards are archers, so not as good in melee as our guy. Warlord Borthand has the bodyguard, but it's just really big. So it is our king versus their warlord. Um, and there's some Balkoth Sikas as well. Sikas, I don't know how you pronounce that word. Um, um, I want to say Sikas, but I, I'm not entirely certain. I don't know what language it originates originates from, so I can't really make an educated guess. Attack of 9, defense of 17, charge of 7, bonus against cavalry and arm um, piercing. They're just a very good strike infantry. Otherwise, though, it's more eastern garbage, really. But there is a real risk. There's a bigger risk this time that we might lose because there's a general leading both of their armies. So they are no longer going to melt away when a strong breeze blows through. Welcome. Um, so I'm wary of this battle then because fatal graphics errors don't tend to be um, random in my experience. If you get a CTD or the, the generic CTD, which is just Medieval 2 has, un has encountered an unspecified error and must close, that one normally means that Medieval 2 can't tell you why it needs to close and it just needs to close. Whereas if it tells you there's a fatal graphics error, generally speaking, that means you're reaching some sort of graphics limit or there's some sort of error with a unit somewhere that is likely to cause a problem as you play on. So I'm wary that this battle might crash. Which is very bizarre because this um, this isn't a particularly large battle. I've played far larger battles in Divide and Conquer with 8,000 odd units on the field in cities like Minas Tirith. This is like four to 6,000 I think and we're out on a plane. So it's surprising to me that it's struggling with that. But anyway, our enemies are going to come from over there and over there. So we're going to pull back to here and we're going to utilise these buildings as a brace. So that we can't be flanked too easily. Because if memory serves, you cannot walk um, straight through. You have to go, as it shows there, through that gap. So we can far easier protect our flank. So if you guys can stand over there. Take the house guards with you as well, actually. Right, cavalry archers. We will use you. Oh, why does it do that? And groups. We will use you to go and pester our enemy. We've got two javelin units who can form a back line there and throw javelins at our enemies. And then that just leaves you guys to protect this left hand side. Just in case anything goes awry down there. 
and then we have our own cavalry. We will maneuver and position accordingly. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. So the enemy's reinforcements are coming in over there, as expected. And the main bulk of our enemy is over here. So let's run our cavalry over there. And fire at will, please. Those Balkoth lances, I'd be very keen if you were to take those out. Although it's raining, so we're going to lose a lot of our strength now. Although, look, we're going to end up calling our enemy over to us. So we want to actually stay behind them, really. But we've dealt a stinging blow to those lances, which is good. Right, but here they come. So our cavalry units, you are going to come down here and you're going to get out that way. Our front line, if you would hold this time. Archers are firing. It doesn't look like they're going to flank us at all. So what we can do is flank them instead. Nice. And we've got a lot of arrows firing into that mix. And there's the runic bodyguard. There's Kapu. Kupu, I believe he was called. And there is Warlord Borthand. And there actually is Warlord Borthand. Is that his name? I'm sure that's his name. Right, hello again. Um, now, I don't want to jinx it, uh, and it may well be entirely unrelated, but there seemed to have been some sort of problem with my large addresser wear. Um, and I think that might have been um, part of the reason why uh, it just crashed a couple of times. Um, upon investigation, my large addresser wear seemed to have turned itself off. So Medieval 2 was only utilising 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so I think that might have been why it was just crashing a reasonable um, bit there. Um, is my guess gut instinct. Uh, and before you ask, no, don't worry, Large Address Aware has been on for a long time um, for my Dole Amroth campaign, and so that is not the reason why that was crashing routinely, I can assure you. Uh, that is its own bug. Which does entirely seem to have been fixed for version 5, which I discussed in the short video where I put up the poll yesterday. Right, let's get our scout, uh, not our scout, sorry. Although I do have scout, yeah, there they are. Right, you there. If you would charge into Borthand and meet him early doors, you guys hit those, and if you also just curl around on that left hand side and get that. Um, and then over here, we're shooting into those runic fences. We managed to get them around the side as we'd hoped. Our javelin troops have all fired. There were 58 runic bodyguard, and there still are 58 runic bodyguard. Oh no, 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 we killed about 10 in the charge, that's good. Some routing rune riders. Right, scouts, once you've charged in, pull out. Oh, look, they're routing even though their general fight's on the field. They truly are cowards. Our archers up here. Get yourselves ready. You're going to charge into the back of that unit. Curl around there. You guys pull out. Balkoth. Oh, that's the Sikas unit. Sikas. That's what I'm going to go for. You're all going to charge in. Ah, oh, those archers got caught. Mounted longbowman, if you could pull over there, actually. Right. You guys. Let's push you through. Runic bodyguard charged back into us. Let's help with the scouts and get Borthan. If we can kill Borthan off, much will be different. Our archers are finished, so now they're just going to charge. Scouts, you're ready. Come over and hit that bodyguard and help King Fritigern, who is taking a bit of a beating. Oh, and there's that Sikas unit. We need to charge that with Fritigern as soon as we can. Well done, Scouts. If you do the dying instead, let's get Fritigern involved. I really want that unit dead. To so charge that way, actually. Cavalry, how did you do? 36-32. Oh, it's even. It is even. We need to start getting Fritigan involved in a cavalry capacity. How many are left? 24. You've got your 39, but you managed to get away. And we sweep into the side of that gas. There were 150. And you only killed about 10 again, though. Feet seems almost certain. Yeah, it's not looking good, is it? Dear, oh dear. Um, go through and hit those eastern archers. 
Get ourselves into position. Fritigern is completely trapped. Let's pull him out. Archers, keep firing, keep firing. You guys go in. He's running away and he is pursued by it. There's now only 10 of Borthan's units. Oh no, there are two bodyguard units there now. Right, Fritigan, lead them on a bit of a merry chase, which is unfortunately going to take you away from the battle, but it'll be all right. Right, scouts pull out. Archers pull out his charger again. Same with the other cavalry. They are following Fritigan. Ah, but even under a full barrage of all three of our archer units, they can't... Uh... Oh, they killed two. Right, now they're going to be pinned in place by the archers, so you guys can go in. Scouts come up over here, over here. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Let's men. join in on those eastern archers. I thought when I saw them routing at the beginning that we were in for a real win here. Borthand is now totally surrounded by a superior force, but he's just got the assistance from Kupu or Kapu. It wasn't Kapu, because that reminds me of Kapue, and uh, I would have thought, oh, that sounds like Kapue. I'm sure it's Kupu. Our mounted longbowmen are getting routine charges in, but they're not doing fantastically. Particularly over here, they're doing almost nothing against those runic fences. Oh, Fritigan is dying now. Right, archers, um, cease, and, cease and desist. Turn back into shooting something else. There are two room bodyguards on that one, and there are five under the general. Ah, but we've got a unit that's routing. Let's get the cavalry to finish those off. Cavalry, charge and charge and charge and charge. And how's the main line doing? We have got a lot of forces here. Um, and those guys have held quite nicely, actually. Didn't expect them to. That one runic general is killing us. Ah, oh, Talf of Dorwinian has died. Unsurprising, he's been cut off from support for a long time. That's just the problem with this game, though. The key, key problem, and why I actually quite like, if I'm honest, the way Warhammer 2 does it, is that generals are insanely fragile. Um, and I know generals are fragile, and that's entirely something that one has to accept. But when there are still 38 men alive and yet your general has died, you just really wish the AI would keep the general a bit more protected. But it just can't do that, can it? Once they're in the heat of battle, they're in the heat of battle. Um, and I suppose it's my... Uh, it's, you, you just have to try and use your generals better than I do. Oh, look, these guys are knackered. That's why they're doing nothing. Although they did just get a significant charge bonus there. Oh, they're routing. Chase them down. Right, can we kill Borthan now, please? He's literally the, the only one left there. They have lost half their men. We need to use Fritigan's charge, so we can't keep him locked down on a one on one bodyguard. I'm happy to use you to chase anything that runs away, because if it runs away we want it dead now. Use seven. Also do some mopping up duty. Alright, let's charge into the back of those. Same with the scouts. I'm not too bothered about the two generals as they stand alone on the field. There are 146 runic fences. Fritigern arrives with his heavy cavalry bodyguard. Charge into the back of a sword and shield unit and there are now 90. That's the kind of killing we want to see. Dogged as they are by the generals of Rune though. Our cavalry remains just hunting down. I think we've probably got this one. Um, in fact, I feel quite strongly that we have now, actually. The enemy general lies dead. Ah, yes. Now I feel very confident indeed. Kubu in quite. Now, if we can just kill off the other one as well. Oh, Fritigan, let's get you charging in. Five of you down there. I think we can probably get some morale shocks in now. Oh, did they turn and fight? No, come on, keep them running, keep them running. I want you to charge in the same thing that the scouts are doing. Let's free up this line. Ah, oh, the Sikas, yes, of course. 
Oh, I changed you at the last minute there and you lost all of your charge bonus. That was awful. That was better. I know I shouldn't fight on time six because I've got units doing nothing now, but uh, cavalry charging over and over and over and over is so dull. <laughs> right, cavalry, you're going to have to help the archers because they are going to die off unless we do. But no, this is all that's left, isn't it? Yes, it is. Everything else is either left the map or being chased off the map. So we can fight at time six. The battle matter. seems to be swinging in our favour. From such tidings does victory emerge. Good charge into those fences. Do now then try and kill off that general if you would. You guys, let's run you out of the way. Oh no, look, you've run out of arrows. Like this, you haven't. Smash the enemy. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Catch them, thank you. And then you can shoot them in the back. Come on, Fritigan! Yes! And so it ends. Yes! That was possibly the hardest battle we've had against Rune. Um, a very close one indeed, but we still managed to beat the buggers. 241 total kills, Daurawada Longbowman, not surprising. Fritigan got 208, so he does come in second. But only by a whistle as a 205, the Frisvar, coming in in third. And indeed, as proven there by foolishly having my large address wear turned off, um, we ran into problems, but turning it back on and it's buttery smooth. No. Kill them all, please. And exterminate every victory. single soul found within those walls. Glorious victory. Resistance Lord, is indeed futile. And honor have conquered. Uh, yeah, go on then. We can always have more generals, particularly on the front line. And unfortunately, Adalf died. And we shall remember him in song and glory. Adalf's Hall. No, that's not a good name, is it? Let's call it Adalf's. Um, I want to go with Tomb, but Tomb's such a gloomy place. Can you imagine living in a town called Atalf's Tomb? I just don't think it's... it's. I think Atalf's Glory is, is a better name, isn't it? And it's a bit out there. I like town names that are a bit out there. Imagine living in a town called Atalf's Glory. Now that you know, that would be a place you'd want to live. Um, but well done there. Now, of course, the Romain is the main army. That's what we are going to have to wait out for now, though. We need that to get down to the south. Um, but for now, I'm going to end this episode there. I don't know how long it is because it crashed a few times and I've got to cut that out. But um, I'm really pleased that I worked out that my large address was turned off. That's at least set us up for the future. Um, but for now, and until we speak again, dear friends, Navayar Naden Peramad Malunin, and farewell.